hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome my name is Shirley and I am the owner and CEO of a &L creations and today I'm coming to you with another video to show you guys how I'm going to use um, glitter heat transfer vinyl and sublimation to put my business logo on the front of this apron here so if you guys are interested in seeing me do that, then just go ahead and stick around for this video. I also would like for you guys to go ahead and follow me on my social media. I am on Instagram and that is A-N-L underscore, underscore creations. That's the letter A, the letter N, the letter L and creations is uh, spelled with a K. Um, I'm also on Facebook at a and l creations and i also have a etsy shop so if you guys don't mind swinging by my etsy shop and checking it out that is at www.etsy.com slash shop slash a and l creations i also have a tiktok as well for my business page and that's at a and l creations with the number one behind it don't forget that's creations with a k um, if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready and set up for the video, and I'll be right back. All right. guys I am back and what I'm doing right now is waiting for the heat press to heat up and it is at 258 I'm waiting on it to get to 400 degrees first so what I'm gonna do now is um, I already did the logo so I already have the logos printed out I actually decided to do um, a logo on an apron and and then a logo on a tote so that's why I have two of them printed out. So I have both of those printed out. So what I still need to do now is to print, go on to Cricut Design Space. That's what I'm going to use uh, along with my Cricut machine here. Um, and go ahead and print out, well, cut the trace uh, background of the, the glitter transfer that I'm going to use to sublimate on. So what you're going to need... For the rest of this project of course like i said you need the um, the printout that you're going to put on uh your item your cricut pad um i have my cricut machine here and i also have lap my laptop i have my laptop here and right there is the image that i'm going to cut out so i'm gonna go ahead and get that done trying to put it where you guys can kind of see what I'm doing I don't have a lot of space you can see that so I'm just gonna try to put the camera where you can see what I'm doing so like I said this is the board I'm going to use the green one and this is the um, glitter trans uh, glitter heat uh, HTV that I'm gonna use I ordered this I want to say off of Amazon I believe it was so anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm kind of in an awkward position because I don't have a lot of room or a lot of space um, let me see cuz I got my bigger tripod sitting back here my ring light with the tripod if I can scoop this back just a tad bit more. Okay. So what I'm probably going to do is, because I got stuff hooked up to my laptop, so it's kind of hard to move the laptop. I don't want to knock, knock stuff down. So let me see. If I can move it without making a mess. Put my laptop over there for one second. Then I'm going to take my Cricut and kind of slide it back. Slide it on back. We got cords and stuff everywhere, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, so 
anyway we're gonna get this part uh laid out and go ahead and get the uh the glitter heat transfer vinyl cuts and out of the way and let's see so i'm gonna put each one of them separate so i'm gonna go ahead and go to make it um on my laptop and just remember whenever you're doing heat transfer vinyl and Cricut design space you always have to mirror the image because if you don't it'll come out backwards and we don't want it to come out backwards so we're gonna go ahead and do that all right so it's looking for my machine now so while we're waiting for it to do that i'm gonna go ahead and lay this down and when you laying down uh, heat transfer vinyl, this particular brand here, you lay it down backwards. You lay it down backwards on there. And I don't know, I need to clean my mats. They are, are not super sticky like they used to be. So this is not cut even from previous projects. So sometimes if my mat doesn't stick down well, yeah, I did have some of the kind of tape in here. I'm not sure where it went. So even though I hate to waste this, this is heat, heat tape that you use whenever you're using your heat press. So what I'm gonna do is just tape down my edges to keep it from coming up. Keep it from coming up. So I'm just going on here. This is glitter iron on. So I'm gonna choose glitter iron on. And now my indicator light has come on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and cut out the first one and then. Alright guys, so I got that cut out and I actually did the other one off camera. This is the one that I'm going to put on the bag. This one is a lot bigger than this second one. So, finish this up. Okay, and take off the little tape that I used. Go ahead and cut this. All right, so we got both of those done. I'll power off my Cricut and go ahead and put this off to the side just to get it out the way. All right, so got both of those. So we can. Put those off to the side for one second. I'm gonna get this cricket moved out of the way. Put this back up. I'm gonna put this back up. I'm gonna have some extra pieces over here that I didn't use. So I'm gonna Get that put up too. See how I can do it doing this. So here, probably not. The door is open. And if that's gonna work, I'm not gonna try to stick it in the inside of here, but oh, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that to the side, and let's see. Looks like. The heat press is where it needs to be. So, I'm gonna take this, slide it back down, and put this back over here. Just trying to get some of this stuff back situated the 
way I had it. Cricket back and unplug. I keep my sorry about that. Alright. That back over there. I forgot when I plug my uh phone charger is connected to my iPhone that I used to record on. I plug it back into the computer and when it does that i'm sure some of you guys already know it the little icon pops up on the phone to ask you to get um access to the um camera on your phone okay so i think i'm going to press the apron first so here's the apron all right so So what you're going to need is lint roller. So you're going to make sure you get all the lint off of it because whenever you're dealing with sublimation or the heat press, it's good to get all the um the lint off because it'll actually like show up or whatever. And I have this paper here to keep the ink from bleeding through. So I'll take a piece of this and put it on the, the bottom part of the apron and then above the apron. And I also have my Teflon sheets that I'm going to use um, as well. So how I think I want to do this, because this is the first time I've ever pressed an apron. It's not the first time I've pressed a bag, but it's the first time I'm doing the bag with uh, vinyl and with uh, sublimation. Uh, the last bag I did is my work bag, and I only did vinyl on that one. So, I'm going to get as much of the lint I can from off her, and then I'm also going to pre-press this, only because that's good for um, getting the moisture from out of whatever item you're going to decide to press. So... Got my heat tape over it there. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove. I got like five Teflon sheets over here on top of my uh, heat press. But all right, so right now, guys, the only thing I'm doing is I'm actually gonna bring the camera a lot closer over when I get ready to actually press um, the logo onto the apron. Right now, I'm just gonna get some of the moisture out. So that's all I'm doing right now. Just getting getting some of the moisture and the creases too. It's also some creases because this was like folded up in a pack when I got it. So alright, so I'm just gonna let it down. Alright, and this heat press guys that I have is a 16 by 24. Yeah, 16 by 24. I actually have two of them. I have a smaller one over here in the corner smaller one right there i think that's like a nine by twelve that was the first one that i got but once i got into doing other things i realized really quickly that the other one was too small and i needed a bigger one i actually want a third one um i want a 15 by 15 because <clears throat> the smaller one is too small to do certain projects and i <clears throat> oh i'm sorry this one here takes a really long time to heat up so sometimes i want to do different projects that something some stuff does not require the heat press this big so i would like to invest in a 1515 um don't have a lot of space though you know my craft room is really small and i don't have a lot of room and technically <clears throat> i didn't have to press this this long i just was talking to you guys and went on and pressed it that long anyway and I didn't move that out of the way, so it gave me a crinkle. But hopefully, that won't be uh, that much of a big deal. Okay, so this one here is the. Yeah, this one is a smaller one. So this is the one that I'm going to put here. So I'm trying to decide if I want to. I just press this down first on there. And then if I press it down, um, then put the print on top of it. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, let's 
home. Let's see. We're going to just pull that outside piece off of it. And make sure you mirror. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Mirror is very important because if you do not mirror, you do not mirror, it's going to be backwards. It's not going to turn out right. Okay. So right now, the only thing I'm doing is I'm going to lay the image down. Like kind of where I wanted to sit it. Stand up so I can kind of make sure it's centered. You got all these extra strings. Make sure those strings are out the way as well. And what I should have done was do like a crease or something down the middle, just to make sure to make sure it's centered. That's what I should have did. First, a crease down, like just did it off to the side like this, just so I can see where my center mark is so I should have pressed it and I think that's what I'm going to go back and do center mark go back and press it like that just so I know where the center of my item is so that is a good way guys to figure out what is the center mark for any type of item I'm not going to say any type of item, but for the most part. Oh, some dye came from out of here. Don't tell my own. Um, hmm. Well, so with that being said, I'm going to have to put something on. I have these to the side for. Yeah, it put some dye. Did it do it on this side too? Yes, I think it did. Some dye come out of here. <clears throat> from off of this. Right on to... So it's nothing major. <clears throat> But the, some of the dyes just came from out of the black. The black from the apron. Okay. I'm not going to even really press this, press this. I'm just doing it just enough to give me a smaller crease. And that's all I need. Yes, enough to give me a crease. So I just did that to get a small crease just to try to help me figure out what a center mark is. Let this cool just a little bit because I don't want to lay it on here. Okay. So it's just a faint little line. Nothing. Alright. So. And I'm going to use the tip right there just to uh, kind of line it up. To see where I want it. There. So what I'm going to do is um, press this down, but I'm not going to press it too long because I know I'm going to have to repress it and I don't want it to shrink. Like if you take heat transfer vinyl and you shrink, I'm going to press it too long, it actually will shrink on you. Okay, so I'm just stick this back up here. Down on the bottom here. And... I'm gonna make sure this string is out of the way too. This back over here. But well, right now, the only thing I'm doing now is making sure the uh, hot y'all, hot hot 
hot, 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 hot. All right, so I'm going to try to move the camera just a little bit closer for a second anyway. Because I'm going to move it back over. So right now, I'm going to show you. That's it on top of the heat press. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here for a second just so you guys can see me press this. And I'm only pressing it a little bit because you still got to put the sublimation logo on top of it. Okay, give me one second. Give me one second. I'm recording you. One second. All right, guys. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to let it press for about 30 seconds, and then I'm going to take it back up. About 30 seconds, and then I'll take it back up. <clears throat> because it's going to actually press for another... Um, you know what? Matter of fact, I'm going to do it just for 20 seconds. <clears throat> All right, so I just did it for 20 seconds instead because this heat press gets really hot and I don't want the, uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yes, this gets really hot. I'm going to bring it back up. This gets really hot and I don't want to uh, overpress it. All right, so this definitely... All right, guys. Ooh. All right, so that 20 seconds definitely, definitely did it for it. All right, All right. see that? You can see that. Let me get you a closer look at that. So that's how it looks before I put the... Uh, the print on top of it so now we're gonna do the print and see how that turns out all right there's the print make sure all right so then you make sure you lay it face down and try to get it as even as you can on the thing so i'm gonna cut some of this extra paper extra paper from around it just so I can kind of see a little bit of, of what I'm doing. Just so I can have a better idea. I'm get this extra paper from around here. I am super excited guys to see how this turns out. accidentally cut the logo that will not be good not a not a not a not be good I guess I should have pre-cut this out but I really didn't really didn't think about it honestly until just now but we shall see how it comes out I am excited okay so Mama Kitty. I'm not sure okay so Try to line it up so I won't miss any of it. Mm. I definitely gotta make sure the whole design is lined up with the Okay, so now what I'm going to do, get the heat tape, mm -hmm. I'm just hoping everything lined up good, keeping my fingers crossed, everything is lined up, so what I'm going to do right now is just add 
few pieces of heat tape down here. I was just looking to make sure I didn't accumulate any type of uh, lint or anything. Okay, so that's that. Now, with this, uh, I guess since I already started using that, I love you too. Okay, so since I already started using that sheet, I guess I continue to use that sheet for the bottom. And I'm going to put this sheet across the top just to keep the, um, the sublimation ink from bleeding through and ruining anything. Okay, so I'm going to sit this up here for a second. And then I'm going to move the camera closer so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Give me one quick second, guys. Okay. All right. Let's move it up. Up and over. Okay. So, right now, I think I did what's laid it down there. You got to watch it because that heat will start getting real warm and it'll actually start sublimating. Okay. So, I'm going to put you guys right here. And I'm going to add this other sheet on top of here just to keep it from bleeding through. Then, after I add that, I'm going to add a Teflon sheet on top of it. Alright guys, pressing it down. Woo. Pressing it for 60 seconds. Oops, sorry. I'm going to press it for 60 seconds. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to see how this turns out. And yeah, we're going to see how it turns out. And then we're going to sublimate the. I'm going to sublimate this next. Wait a minute, baby. We're going to sublimate this next. We're going to put the bigger logo on there just to see how it turns out. Uh, whenever you're pressing stuff like any type of bags or anything like that, you would uh, make sure you use a pressing pillow on the inside. So that's what I'm going to do. Use a pressing pillow on the inside of the bag. And we're almost there. Turn it back around. All right. There's the timer. Open it up. Oh my god, I hope it did not. Oh, okay, I forgot. I'm crazy. Never mind. So that's the paper, and you see how the ink bled through there? That's the reason why it's important to make sure it didn't bleed through here, though. Nope, it didn't. So that's why it's important to make sure that you have the extra paper. Let's slide you guys back. And we're going to take this out, move the camera down so you guys can see. I'm going to take the apron out. Ooh, it's hot, 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 hot. So I'm going to take it to the side. Make sure you already fill out. It actually came out kind of dark, darker than I wanted it to come out. It actually came out actually kind of dark. Let me see it. I mean, all in all, it's still cute. I like how it came out. It just came out a little dark for me, though. All right, so. That's the apron. So, I think it's cute. I like it. It actually came out pretty cute. I like it. All right, so. Apron done and on into the bag. All right. Let's put the apron to the side. And the same thing when it comes to doing the um sorry. Same thing when it comes to doing the bag. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna pretty much lint roll it. Lint roll it, lint roll it. Press it to get the um, so we're gonna 
going to press it to get the moisture out of it. So I'm assuming the same thing is going to happen, happen with the bag as it did with the the moisture out the bag. Add the bag up here. Last we had to use the bathroom. Okay. Shh. Okay, just put him down. He knows how to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So let me see. I'm gonna have to turn this bag this way because the um, handles are in the way. So we're gonna Go ahead and get the moisture out of here. Come on. He peed in his little book. And we're only going to go for 15, uh, 15 seconds. Okay. All right, guys. So I went on and got that pulled out. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the pillow in the inside. And I'm not sure I may go ahead and, I don't know, because I got the pillow in here. But I think I'm going to take this pad from up under here. Because sometimes when I'm doing certain items and they're thick, um, the heat press won't close. Oh, it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. That pad is hot. Oh, my goodness. All right, so gonna take the pad out of there and I'll put this back up under here just for some type of some some cushioning put this back on there okay put that back on there and I'm gonna lint roll this one more time All right. okay so I'm gonna turn the bag around and <clears throat> this bag actually has like a stitch. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a stitch going down the bag. So that's what I'm going to use to line up my image on here. So let's go ahead and peel the back. Peel the back and off. Oh, okay. Peel the back and I'll close it. Okay. All right. Stop it. So. Stop. I'm sorry, guys, if you hear my little one in the background. She's, uh... Playing with the kitty back there. I want to make sure it's easy. To... Come on, I want to cut this, but I wanted to adjust it because it's like trying to cut off the mat. Okay. All right. So I think this one should be That's big enough. Okay. So, like I did before, I'm just going to stick this under the heat press. Press it for like maybe, I don't even know if I want to do it that long. Probably like 10 seconds. I think I'm going to do it like 10 seconds. Because I'm not sure if that's the reason why it bled through. I don't know if that's the reason why it bled through on the apron. I'm going to do it for like 10, 10 seconds over here. Hopefully, hopefully there was enough just to get the vinyl to kind of 
stick on her and it looks like it did. Um, yeah. It didn't stick down well. Maybe I better do it for another 10 seconds. Turn it back under there. Another 10 seconds. Mommy. 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 Okay. Hopefully this turns out okay. The vinyl don't seem, I don't know if it's from the pillow that's in there or what. I should have used, these are some uh, pressing pillows I had purchased off of Amazon. These are some pressing pillows because I don't know, look how the paper wrinkled up. Mm -hmm. Anywho, these are some pressing pillows that I had purchased off of Amazon. Ooh. I don't know if it's not getting enough. Guess I shouldn't be doing that. I don't want to put a lint all on it. But, um, but I'm going to leave it. Leave it be. I don't know if it's the person pillows I got off of Amazon or what. Because I got a uh, Cricut, Cricut pad too. Alright, let's get this. I got a Cricut pad too. Uh, person pillow too. And that's what I use on my last bag. Probably should have used is that one too, but that one on this one. But oh well, you live and you learn. Like I said it's new for me. I'm not editing out any mistakes or anything that uh, I may do. So it is what it is. You guys are learning with me. I'm not a pro at this, you know. But I really just got established. I want to say maybe March of. 2019 and this is what december of 2020 so i haven't been doing this long i learn new stuff every day uh, almost with every project that i've ever tried to do each time i do it i learn something a little different or how i should have went about doing something or whatever changes i might need to make i might need to make i'm learning I'm learning, I'm learning. Just trying to get my business up and going really well. I know. Um, like I said, if you like the contents of this video, go ahead and hit that like button so I can keep videos coming for you. Hit that like button. Um, and go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel so I can keep these videos coming. This is still a little warm. Ooh, come on. Still a little warm. Really don't want to put the uh, print down on there while it's still warm because, like I said, the heat is what, the heat is what uh, causes the ink to come about. All right, guys, so here we go. Yeah, heat is what causes the, the ink to start sublimating on stuff. So I just want to make sure I'm making no errors or less errors as possible. How about I say that? Less errors as possible. Yeah, less errors as possible. All right, guys, so right now I'm just taping down the image so we can put it back up under the heat press. All right. All right. All right, all right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back under the heat press. And add my sheet of paper on top. Then add Teflon sheet. Move you guys up. All right, and we 
gonna press for 60 seconds. And then you see all of that pressure I had to put on there. So just imagine with that pillow being in the inside of there. If I would have tried to keep that pad under there, that door would not have closed. <laughs> so I guess you can call it a door. I don't know. But the heat press lid, <laughs> whatever you might want to call it, it wouldn't, wouldn't have closed. Because I tried to press something else thicker um, with that in the inside of there. And uh, I had to take it out. So, anyway, we're going to see how this turns out. I'm super excited about my little bag and my little apron. I also did a hat. I'm into embroidery now, so I do have an embroidery machine. So, one of these days, I'm coming to you guys with an um, embroidery video as well. I'm new to embroidery. I've done a few things, but not many. So, hey, we'll continue to learn together. We will continue to learn together. All right, we are done, guys. <laughs> Here comes the heat. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. Take that piece of paper off. Ooh. All right, slide the camera back. Sorry about all the moving. I hope it's okay, guys. I just want to make sure you can actually see what it is that I'm doing. Let's see. Bring it right here. Tilt it down. All right. Oh, my God. It came out so cute. I love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. And look at the colors popping. Popping, popping, popping. I love it. Even though you can tell I didn't line it up super, super good because the top of the white is gone on that side. But all in all, I love it. It came out so cute. Press the pull out. Ooh, that thing is hot. All right, so there is the bag. Oh my god. Wow, guys, it came out great. Look at that. Oh my god. I am so excited. So excited. All right, so I did buy two aprons too. Even though this came out a little dark, but I think it came out this dark because of all the dye that's in the inside of it. So I think that's what caused it. I don't know, Nabil. Alright, so I'm going to try my apron on. Oh my goodness. Came out cute, guys. Even though this string is like extra long. I guess it's for really tall people because I am really short and what I'm going to do is um just cut it like I'm gonna cut the string because it's like one loop so I'm gonna cut it where I can just tie it around my neck because I'm kind of short so it'll look closer so you guys can see so I like it it came out I think it came out pretty cute tell me what you guys think my little bag okay okay a nail creations that's what i'm talking about all right all right guys so that is it i am done with this video today and like i said if you like the contents of this video go ahead and um hit that subscribe button like this video and um follow me on all the rest of my social medias thank you